The Sacramento County District Attorney wants the gates to Camp Resolution shut for good. There's no shelters that are being opened up and available. Uh, so uh, we just see a lot of hand wringing and arm waving but not uh, money. Mark Marin is the executive director of Safe Ground Sacramento, the nonprofit leasing the Colfax property from the city rent free and a recipient of the DA's scathing letter to clean up the soil and groundwater contamination or face nuisance charges. People should not be camping on that asphalt or creating enclosed structures on top of that asphalt. Patrick Palupa is an executive officer with the Regional Water Board, which has conducted testing at Camp Resolution for years. The property used to be a city vehicle maintenance yard with underground fuel storage tanks. From the Regional Board's perspective, uh, there are vapor intrusion issues there that could create human health concerns. DA Tin Ho says the nearly 60 people who live there are being exposed to toxic chemicals. In the letter, Ho writes the rampant and unabated safety violations underscore why the city's plan of housing people on a toxic dump site was ill-conceived and ill-fated from the beginning. Residents are allowed to stay on the pavement in only RVs or cars, which must be elevated off the ground to prevent the buildup of cancer-causing chemicals. No tents are allowed on the property, but Live Copter 3, which flew over the site today, shows some tents on the ground. The homelessness issue is really the wild card here, where people could potentially be building tents or other structures that haven't really been evaluated by human health experts. Uh, we're trying to get more trailers there. Uh, we haven't gotten water. There's no water hookup. Uh, there's no electricity on the lot. It's, it's really pretty barbaric. Uh, and that's what I think we'd all want to see improved conditions. Marin says if Camp Resolution is closed, these residents will have nowhere to go. In North Sacramento, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Now, the city attorney says the city is in the process of evaluating the DA's letter. The DA also pointed out this criminal investigation is separate from the pending civil lawsuit filed earlier this year over the homeless issue.